Dear learners, we are moving to business environment. In this session, you will learn meaning and features of business environment, importance and types of business environment. Success of every business depends on adjusting or adapting to the environment within which the business functions. For example, when there is a change in the government policies, business has to make necessary changes to adapt itself to the new policies. Government has formulated policy of computer involvement in every activities. So, business adopted that strategy of using computers in every field, even in small retail outlets. A change in the technology may render the existing products obsolete. In old days, we used typewriter for typing. But nowadays, it became obsolete because of the invention of computers. And similarly, we have used or watched black and white television. Now it became out of fashion because of the emergence of color television. Change in the customer's taste and fashion will shift the demand in the market for a product. Nowadays, customers are preferring Fast food items, most of the women are going outside to work, which finds it very difficult to cope with the household work. So, as they have enough purchasing power or income or money with them, women started buying fast food items, that those items which can be cooked fast also. So, the demand for those products increased at a fast rate. Similarly, change in the fashion. In earlier days, we have used only traditional type of dresses and now we have and now we are using western style dressing also. Here, the demand for jeans reduced the sale of traditional wares. In business, we have external factors also which cannot be controlled by the business. Usually, business unit adjust with the environment for what? In order to survive in the business field in order to succeed in the business field. Now going to the features of business environment. Business environment is the sum total of all factors external to the business firm that greatly influence the functioning of that particular business. And at this point of time, you should know which are the factors that will influence the business. Factors are Customers, definitely their taste and fashions will influence the business. Competitors, if they are adopting new technology, you will also adopt the same technology. Similarly, suppliers, if they are supplying raw materials which is of new type. For example, plastic came as a new product which is supplied by the suppliers. Then we have started using plastic utensils, we have started making plastic buckets, plastic sheets, etc. So these factors will affect the business environment. Then government policies, I will come later to this session, government policies, how it is affecting. Social conditions, society, how it is responding, that will affect the business. Culture. The values that we have, that we retain in a country, definitely that will affect the business. In some countries, they are not ready to accept the product of other countries. Still in these years, 
such a situation exist. So, according to the culture, they are used only to buying product of their country. Similarly, political conditions or political decisions taken by the authorities, whether to use any particular currency like that. So, that will affect the business environment. Now, you are used to that. Technological conditions, mobile apps that is coming and that is being used by the business concern. Definitely, that is making the business to move at a fast rate or sales going at a fast rate. So, these factors or forces will affect the business. Then business environment is the sum total of all the factors and it business will keep on changing or environment will change because business is also dynamic and environment is also dynamic changing. We cannot predict the changes in the business environment. It is very difficult to predict. Society, how the society is going to change. Before 10 years, have you ever thought that people in India will start using mobile phones in the pace that we are using now? Definitely not. Because in earlier days, we had only government controlled telephonic system and it was so difficult to access foreign countries or long distance calls at that time. And because of the invention as well as the society has started using latest mobile phones, in earlier days it was so costly. Now the demand increased and so the price came down and so society started using mobile phones at a fast rate. So that has affected business. Online business came, banking transactions became online. So, so many unpredictable, we cannot predict how it is going to affect. Similarly, economic environment. Have you ever thought that our 500 rupees notes and 1000 rupees notes will be banned within one month or within one day? No. And how it has affected the business, you can experience right now. That because of demonetization of 500 rupee notes and 1000 rupee notes, which is in circulation in India right now, the government expected minimum cash society that is online business moving at a fast rate. So, we cannot predict what will be the impact. Business environment differs from place to place, from region to region and from country to country. In the case of face creams that is available in India, we are using that for becoming fair. The same company is using or is selling face creams for western countries for changing the skin color to brown. So, the needs and demands of the consumers will change from region to region, from country to country or from place to place. One more example I would like to say about the chocolates. Indians prefer chocolate with minimum content of chocolate that is not bitter taste. In western countries the same company is selling chocolates, dark chocolates because they prefer dark chocolates. We want sugary type of less bitter type of chocolates. So, business situation changes. Then taste and values differ from one country to another country. In India, people prefer nowadays people prefer traditional dress and more western dresses. Young generation are preferring western dresses. 
but still in some other country like Bhutan, most of the people are still wearing traditional dress that is available in their country. They are satisfied with that only in their cities you can see western style of dresses. So most sales are relating to the traditional dresses in some countries. Now coming to the importance of business environment. Business environment helps in determining opportunities and threats. Interaction between the business and its environment would identify opportunities for business and threats for business. For example, business who is doing right now can easily identify the opportunity. If you are doing mobile phone business, identify the opportunity that is in front of you relating to the smartphones. Definitely, the price of the smartphone should come less or will come less because all, most of the women as well as class 4 workers are nowadays not using smartphones. But they will be forced to use smartphones because as most transactions are becoming online. So the smartphone demand will increase so the price will have to come down. So those who are interested in that type of business identify the opportunity in the sales of the mobile phone business right now. Similarly, there can be some threats in the business that will affect it badly with the introduction of the latest technologies or business environmental changes. And business environment help to or identification of the opportunities will help the business to meet the challenges successfully. Another importance of business environment, business environment will give direction for growth. The interaction with the environment leads to opening up new frontiers of growth of the business. Identify areas of growth is possible with the help of this study about business environment. Areas of expansion can be identified by carefully studying the business environment. In earlier days, we have used only normal type of milk. Now, we have started using toned, double toned, rich like that. Similarly, we have started using flavored type of milk that is relating to which all flavors are available. Strawberry flavored, vanilla flavored, chocolate flavored, according to the demand of the consumers. So these are the areas of growth that you can enter and that you can expand your business. When coming to the another importance of business environment, it helps in continuous learning. Environmental analysis makes the task of managers easier in dealing with business challenges. By analyzing the environment, manager will be able to update the knowledge, will be able to update the skills. So managers are motivated also. So continuous learning will occur with the managers. Environment understanding helps the business organization in improving their image by showing their sensitivity to the environment within which they work. Some of the organizations have started using rainwater harvesting because rainwater which is a precious thing should be conserved or preserved for future use as there is 
severe shortage of pure water. So that is made possible with the help of rainwater harvesting and most of the organizations, business organizations have started using that. Then that will improve the image of that particular organization. Similarly, own power plants are created by some organizations that is electricity generation done by that business concern itself. So that will help the organization to improve its image. Business environment analysis helps the firms to analyze the competitor strategy and formulate their own strategy accordingly. Nowadays, so many mobile phones are here. So one mobile phone came up with a strategy that is voice calls became free. And they are managing with the charges relating to the data used by their customers. So that strategy is adopted by one company. So they, by studying this, other companies will also formulate their own strategies accordingly. Business environment will help to identify firm strength and weakness in view of technological development and global development. Now we can move to types of business environment. We have economic environment and non-economic environment. Economic environment includes economic conditions, economic policies and economic systems. Economic conditions of a nation refer to a set of economic factors that have influence on business organizations and in the operations of the business. Now we have economic policies. All business activities are influenced by economic policies framed by the government from time to time. Economic policies are like industrial policy, fiscal policy, monetary policy and foreign investment policy. I am coming to that one by one. Industrial policy of the government covers all those principles or policies or rules and regulations which are controlling the business organization of our country. And these governmental policies or principles will help to shape the industrial development or pattern of industrial development. Important economic policies include fiscal policy. It includes government policy in respect of public expenditure, how the money of the public or the government should be utilized, taxation, how in respect of taxation what is the government policy, how to deal with the public debt, these factors can be considered in fiscal policy. Coming to monetary policy, money aspect, now government have introduced a monetary policy that 500 rupee notes and 1000 rupee notes prevailing at present will be completely banned and new 2000 rupee notes will be issued as a new currency. So in monetary policy it includes all those activities and interventions that aim at smooth supply of credit to the business and a boost of trade and industry. Foreign investment policy this policy aims at regulating the inflow of foreign investment in various sectors for speeding up industrial development and take advantage of modern technology. Economic conditions, economic policies and now coming to economic systems. The world economy is governed by three types of economic systems. Capitalist economy, socialist economy and mixed economy. When we are considering India, we have mixed economy. That is, there is coexistence of the public sector and private sector. Both public sector and private sector enterprises can function in a mixed economy like India. 
elements of non economic environment include social environment political environment legal environment technological environment demographic environment and natural environment social environment of business includes traditions customs beliefs values poverty etc that is prevailing in that particular society the social structure and the values that is society cherishes have an influence on the functioning of every business for then coming to political environment this includes the political system the government policies and attitude towards the business community all these aspects have a bearing on the strategies adopted by the business and stability of the government will influence the business then coming to legal environment that is relating to laws or regulations which influence the business organizations and their operations which are the laws that is affecting the business that is companies act of 1956 foreign exchange management act 1999 the factories act of 1948 industrial disputes act of 1972 payment of gratuity act 1972 similarly so many acts or rules and regulations are working as a framework for the business to obey in the legal environment we have to consider the provisions of the constitution also provisions of the articles of the indian constitution influence the operation of the business which are the principles directive principles rights of the citizen rights of indian citizen duties of indian citizen similarly legislative powers of the government these are influencing the business because in the constitutions these were laid down as a constitutional factor we can also include values or culture that has been preferred culture that has been preserved in india for so many years that can also be included in the constitution amendment coming to legal environment another factor judicial decisions court authority of the court the various judgment given by the court in different matters relating to trade and industry influence the business activities judiciary has to ensure that the legislature and government function according to the interest of the public legislature and government function within the boundaries of the constitution that is the duty of the judiciary to ensure these things so business should look into these matters also coming to technological environment which includes modern methods modern techniques and approaches adopted for production of the goods and services and for its distribution in selling nowadays you are using online selling technology as well as online buying technology the varying technological environments of different countries affect the designing of the product also because customers are aware of these type of designs that is available in the whole world with the help of internet coming to demographic environment this refers to the size of the population density of the population distribution of the population where it is distributed growth rate of the population all these factors have a direct bearing on the demand for various goods and services because of the population increase we have more employment so demand for job opportunities increased demand for food increased 
demand for dress materials increased, demand for houses increased. So, similarly, demand for business centers increased. Coming to natural environment, which includes geographical factors that influence the business operations, ecological factors that influence the business operations. For example, some type of spices are available only in the southern part of India, which is in high demand in the world market. So, as a natural environment, it is affecting the business of India in a large scale. Business is generally influenced by the nature of natural environment. Natural factors or environment includes the availability of natural resources, location, weather of that particular place, wool will be made with the help of the fur of sheep that is located in cold areas. Similarly, natural environmental factors are climatic conditions also. So, dear learners, in this session you have learned meaning and features of business environment, importance and types of business environment. Hope you understood this very well. Thank you.